you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny. So excited. Favorites video. It's that time. Actually, I don't even I don't even know what time it is because I used to do these once a month, but now I'm like, I really want to hold out until I have a good chunk of stuff to share with you guys. And I do have to say, go grab a snack grab a drink, grab uh, your best friend, and hang tight because this video is gonna be a doozy. I have a lot of really amazing products to share with you guys. But before we get into that list, I did wanna say thank you to Typology for sponsoring this video. We are back. The last time that I spoke to you guys about Typology was a couple of months ago, and that had been after trying my skincare routine, the products that they prescribed to me using their diagnostic quiz. And uh, I had been using them for several months before I decided to talk to you guys about it. But we are back with this favorites video to kind of give it a little bit of a spin. So I'm not gonna talk to you about a Typology favorite product. Okay, maybe I will. What I am considering a favorite or sharing as a favorite with you guys is the diagnostic test. You guys know it takes four minutes. There's gonna be a link in the description box below. Basically you go over there, you answer a few questions. It takes like four minutes and it's going to prescribe a skincare regimen for you guys. But what I didn't know is that it updates depending on the season. I retook my quiz and while my results were the same, they customized certain products so that they would be seasonally relevant. Do you remember last time? I mean, I got those products in October. I got them in October. I remember clearly it was like Halloween time. So here's an example of what I'm talking about. Do you guys remember last time they gave me or prescribed the tan complexion drops? So these were these like magical drops that you put on your skin as one of the final steps of your routine. And it gave you this glow of like, maybe I have a tan, but here's the difference. That was in October. That was in fall and winter. Now that we're in May, end of spring, early summer, I don't need tan complexion drops. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? I already have my natural intake of sun. And so what could I use instead? And so th that's like the stuff that they think about. And so I talked a lot about typology and why it was my favorite, but I was focusing a lot on the products and uh, the awesome promo that they had for you guys. Today we're gonna talk a little bit more about the diagnostic quiz and how it was able to shift certain products for my routine, like my AM and PM skincare routine. It's just awesome. I love when things just get simplified, you know, and just made so easy because I don't need one more thing to have to worry about, stress about, or give myself guilt about when I don't accomplish it. You know what I mean? So Typology is a French skincare brand that was created in Paris and has a Paris brand. Yes, it is that luxurious and amazing. It is actually France's number one best-selling skincare online, but somehow here in the US, we don't talk about it much. And I think that happens often when things aren't tangible or we can't just like walk into a store and buy it for ourselves. And so you need friends like me to tell you about it. I think as I've gotten older, the stuff that I want in my life, the people that I want in my life, the relationships, the products, the food even, for me, it's like, the easier, the better, the simpler, the better, the most limited or simplified, the better. That always just is gonna be my better choice. And so with products like Typology, where they have factored in everyone's skin is different, the environment that you're in is different, everyone's concerns are different, they have been able to, instead of adding more products into an existing product, is they've started to eliminate products. So they are just formulated chock full of the ingredients that you need, only the ingredients that you need to deliver that, the results that you want. And that's why it's so important for you guys to take the diagnostic quiz. Like I said, it takes four minutes. There's no catch, there's no hook. You do have to enter your email so that they could email your prescription to you, but that's about it. It's also super helpful because, I mean, I don't leave my browsers 
open all the time and so I click back I still have my two prescriptions the one that I got in fall and then the one that I got for spring and summer and it's nice to go back because I can click on it and it kind of breaks down every single product for me and tells me when to do it how to do it what the active ingredients are you know the routine for morning and evening it's just super helpful to think about all of those things and another thing that for me is probably the best reason why typology is a brand that i suggest you try or you know just plant the seed is that these products are made in france when a product is made in france like the entire brand of typology it is following very stringent European laws or rules on what ingredients are allowed to be in their products. So they've already banned over 1300 ingredients that are just not allowed to be used or manufactured into their products. When you're going through the process of developing or choosing a skincare regimen, this is important. You know, this isn't like, oh, you know, your new fun shoes to go dancing to a party. It's like, these are going to be my mom jeans that I wear every single day to take my kids to school, to take them to the park, to take them to karate or to baseball. Like you need something reliable because it's going to be constantly with you by your side and stick with you for a very long time. So a lot more thought goes into choosing that kind of stuff. So if you guys have an extra four minutes, I do suggest that you retake that quiz because I know a lot of you took it last time but if you take it again you may notice that they are going to update it based on the season or on products that they are suggesting for this time of the year so you guys remember I told you last time when I shared the products that I received and the products that I was using and my favorite products like their packaging is awesome everything is recyclable and I don't mean like half recyclable, a little bit recyclable, like totally recyclable. The shape of the bottles, the way it's packaged, the way it's shipped, like it was in like this thin, tiny little box. And I was like, there, there's, there's no way that there is an AM, PM skincare regimen in this tiny little box. Oh, there was, it's just packaged so perfectly. But I was most impressed or excited about receiving these three new products. And I'm gonna have to update you guys on the functionality of these once I really get into using them and kind of uh, interchange them or exchange them for the products they're replacing in my fall and winter routine. But I was excited because I have talked about these two ingredients in my content before a lot. And that's vitamin C and caffeine. So two products that they exchanged for my previous routine were the Radiance Face Serum. So this is a vitamin C serum or a Radiance Serum, which is nice because I don't need like the tanning drops, you know, the ones that give me that tan complexion. Now I'm going to go in with vitamin C, make sure to go in with a sunscreen, and that's going to be super awesome. It's going to make me look glowy. I'm totally eliminating the tan complexion drops. And then this one, I was like, oh my God, I didn't know they had that. You guys know I love caffeine for my dark under eyes. I do have darker under eyes. Sometimes they do get puffy. <laughs> my body loves to retain water. So my face and my fingers are the two number one spots where my face likes to show when I'm retaining. And my favorite eye serums or the eye serums that I have found that give me the best results are the ones that have caffeine. I guess they know, they know who their mama is, they know my love for coffee and it works. So I was really excited to get these two products to alternate into my routine. Now this one, I wouldn't have even thought about this. So you guys know that in the spring and summer, your skin tends to produce more sebum, right? So it's hotter outside, you're a little bit sweatier, so your face generates a little bit more oil. And before, I was prescribed a moisturizer that had a little bit of retinol in it. Well, for my spring and summer routine, they gave me a sebum control moisturizer. <laughs> what? How do you know about these things? I guess they're supposed to because it's all they do. So this is their face moisturizer that has zinc and bamboo extract, and it's basically shine control. So it's a wonderfully humectant moisturizer that will also control my sebum or the shine on my face this summer. We really have to put this to the test because you guys know that I have seen way too many baseball fields 
recently and it's not going to slow down so I'm excited to see the results of this and I will definitely update you guys but if you guys were on the fence the last time we talked about typology let the curiosity bug bite you and retake that quiz and see if your suggested products or prescription changed. So I'm still a DE, but they did exchange or alternate some of the products and I'm like, oh, wow. This is like um, when you have a date and they like did research in advance, you know, like what's your favorite food? And you're like, oh, I like French food. It really, that's my favorite cuisine. <laughs> that's just a coincidence. So I'm like, oh, French cuisine is my favorite. And then they find and they make reservations at a French restaurant, they take you on a date and you're like, how did you know? Oh, you're so thoughtful. This brand feels thoughtful in the way that they package their items, the way they ship them, the way it's aesthetically pleasing. I need to start using that word aesthetic a lot more. My son, my fifth grader is like talking cool now and I really don't feel like I can catch up. So if you guys decide to try Typology and order a few products, they do have a promo just for you guys right now where if you spend $40 or more, you are going to get a free peeling serum, a serum that has lactic acid. So it's gonna be a very gentle, sort of like an exfoliator serum. So it'll make your skin nice and bright and radiant and ready for summer because I don't, I don't wanna be inside. Are you guys inside people in the summer? Or are you outside people? I really don't mind being hot and I'm totally solar powered, so I love to be out in the sun. That's one question that I had to answer on the uh, skin diagnostic test. It asked me about being outside. Like, how often am I outside? And I was like, well, my answer in the winter was different because I'm mean when I'm cold, but now in the summer, I'm outside all the time. And so they factored all of that stuff in. I also got a replenishment of the sunscreen because you know I'm gonna need that on hand for all the time that we are gonna be spending outside. So all the details to this promo for Typology will be listed in the description box below. The uh, information on the diagnostic, skin diagnostic quiz, the information on the products that I shared with you, I'll also make sure to link the previous video where I show you guys how I use the products that I was prescribed back then. And like always, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. But definitely take advantage of the peeling serum because I think that will be really handy for this summer if you want to look nice and glowy. You know, I mean, you could look glowy by like throwing on a thick layer of highlighter, which is never a bad idea. Or you can just make sure it's, it's your own skin. Like, I woke up like this and, and then I did typology and now I look like this. <laughs> anyway, all that information will be listed in the description box below. If you guys are not here for skincare, I hate to disappoint because now we're going to talk about the skin on our bodies. So, what? Native, you guys know I'm a fan of the brand. It is now the only deodorant brand that I use, but they have been doing a lot of limited edition collections like with Melissa's Cupcakes. No, Baked by Melissa. Uh, this is the Candy Shop collection. So they have a bunch of limited edition scent, scent or scented collections that they launch. I smelled this on a whim. Like I was there to get yogurt, you know, like Target, Target's the only place that carries the yogurt that, that my boys will eat. And I, I saw these on an end cap. And you know how I feel about gummy bears. Haribo gummy bears. Like I like the, the, the harder, the stiffer, you know, those kinds of gummy bears. And uh, it smells so good. And Native's one of those healthier for you brands. So I wanted to share it with you guys. I'm pretty sure it is limited. Yeah, limited edition scents inspired by your favorite sweet treats. So it is limited edition. Hopefully you guys can find it, but I wouldn't be doing my due diligence as your best internet friend if I didn't tell you about it. So there's that. Staying on the subject of my body, not too long ago, I spoke about a PR package that I got from EOS. And I was like, you know, it's nice. Thanks for sending me your new cashmere collection. I'm very excited. Like, can you tell? Like. I've done serious damage. Anyway, I was like, yeah, it's nice. You know, I'm already a fan. I don't need convincing. Like, I already know this is awesome. Do you ever like meet someone and you're like, wow, this person's awesome. And then they do something and you're like, wait a second. I thought you had reached the echelon of awesome. This is weird. So their combo, like this is a combo that they suggest you do together. I'll tell you my thoughts on that, but you do the pre-shave scrub, you shave, and then you moisturize. 
I have my feelings about things that kind of put you into a regimen. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, you don't have to, you don't have to stick to it. You know, like there are certain products that get suggested, even with typology, there are certain products that they suggest, like this is a routine, but you may have your favorite sunscreen or you may have your favorite eye moisturizer or whatever. Design it to fit your needs. And so for me, this routine is epic. Like it makes a huge difference in like shaving my legs. I think I went like two weeks without shaving my legs. And that's not to say that like I didn't grow back my woolly mammothness, but it just seems to have more of like a smooth result. I don't know. Like I didn't sh I didn't change razors or anything, but it was it was awesome. And I want to say like my hunch tells me that it's this magical scrub. Have you guys ever had a soapy scrub? I've been doing YouTube slash beauty content for 10 years. I didn't know there were soapy body scrubs. I'm used to the salt ones, sugary scrubs, oil, oil type scrubs, like they're sitting in an oil. Like I'm used to those kinds of, when I imagine a scrub, for me it's like a wet sand, but it's not sudsy, there's no bubbles. This is a sudsy, very gentle sudsy scrub. It is so satisfying and it's gentle but aggressive enough. Like you don't feel like you're hurting yourself or giving yourself like microscopic tears to your flesh, but it leaves your skin feeling super soft and it's soapy at the same time. So like save a step, you know? I really enjoyed the formulation of this scrub. Like I think from now on moving forward, every brand should do their scrubs in a tube and make it soapy, like a sudsy, soapy, bubbly scrub, because that is extremely satisfying and I feel like that's what gave me the best results. So I went in with that, I shaved my legs with this. I didn't notice anything different from this one to the ones that I've used in the past that I share with you that I go through every month. Shave creams, there's like the mango and the original or whatever, I, I, it seemed the same. And then this lotion, it's very luxe. So if you have dry skin, you're probably gonna favor it more than someone that doesn't really need a lot of hydration because it is extremely hydrating and very luxe and smells delicious. Like you're gonna smell like a bakery for the rest of the day. But if you do not like the heavier body creams or those that you can feel, uh, you might not enjoy it. I like it because I am, you know, a descendant of an alligator slash crocodile slash rhino slash elephant. So. You know, I, I mean, I could use my skin to like sand down a, ta a table and, and DIY it in a very Pinteresty kind of way. Anyway, speaking of uh, my sandy skin, no. <laughs> do you ever try something and like you don't need you don't need to get deep? Like skincare, you need to get deep. You need to try it for several weeks, months even. I would say if you like fairly want to talk about something, it needs to be a few months. Um, I don't know hair products. You really need to see the results, right? I don't know why I showed you my my Brahmin hair. Then there are other products that you just know. Like you just, you just know. You just know. Okay, these are not products that you need. These are fun, extra, extra, I don't mean extra like extra side of fries, Pete, please. I mean like extra, like you're being extra. You don't need that, but you do. So this is the Vacation 50 SPF Super Spritz. This is a liquid sunscreen mist that you put on your face and you have instant sunscreen. And it smells like sunscreen. I know, I'm in the small percentage of people that love the smell of sunscreen, coconut, pineapple, tanning oil, like that's that this is who I am as a person and you'll see because I'm going to talk about some fragrance in a second. But if you are in a hurry, sometimes you do your skincare, sometimes you don't, sometimes you forget. I don't know. Heck, maybe you have a weird schedule where you go to the gym in the middle of the day or whatever and you want to put on sunscreen but you're in a hurry, this stuff comes out so fine, you put it on top of your makeup, you can wear it under your makeup, whatever. It's basically like a sunscreen mist that doesn't ruin your makeup and it's SPF 50. It smells good. That might bother some people because it is a strong scent. I really like it. I really like it. I really like this too. This is 
extra. So this is a oil gel glow sunscreen. The way it's described is a body glow and it has SPF 45 and it is coconut and macadamia oil based. So it's a luxe sunscreen that is a body gel, gel, a body gel. It's a body gel, like Dolly Parton. It's a body gel with moisturizing oils, but it also has a little bit of mica. So I'm gonna show you. Let's show you on this. Let's show you on this shoulder right here. Ready? Okay, so it comes out and it looks like a gel. Sorry, you don't need to be sitting, my embarrassing bra. So there's no chunk. You're not going to get chunk and you're also not going to get like oily grease and it's waterproof. So it is a gel that is like makeup for your skin. Did you see that? I don't think you got the full view and I don't think you got the full view because I need to show you my other shoulder. Okay, so that's the shoulder with the product. That's not. And I don't, I don't know where where this bruise came from. So no product, product, right? And keep in mind, my skin is fully moisturized right now. So I'm not flashing around my rhino skin today. Like I actually moisturized today and that's on top of what I moisturize. So this here is just regular moisturize. You see, it's just like a skin. It's just normal skin. No big deal. It's just skin. There's nothing in pro. Oh, wow. It smells really good too. So, like I said, it is not a, it's not gonna change your life. It is not a must have. It comes in a gold shade as well. So, this is the rose gold. They have a gold. God, it smells so good. But if you guys are gonna have, like, you know, a sexy summer, a fun summer, you're gonna be outside and you want your skin to look like, it really does look flawless. It's almost like a primer, like a glowy primer for your skin that smells really good, happens to be waterproof, and is SPF 45. I know, okay. So I talked about my hair and I don't wanna to get too much into this product because I did mention it in the previous favorite, so I don't wanna to do too much overlap, but I have been doing this with my hair a lot. I'm starting to realize the comfort and ease of not brushing my hair and just putting a couple of spritz of this stuff in it. And the less that I brush and the less that I blow out my hair, the curlier it gets. So the Unite Boing Leave-In Conditioner is the only thing that I put in my hair when I wanna leave it like this. So I'll get in the shower, I'll detangle in the shower, then I'll towel wrap my hair and it's not an actual towel, it's just one of those little hair wraps so that I don't cramp it, cramp it too much. Then I take the towel out of my hair and I leave it alone. Like I don't touch it, like don't touch your hair. Resist the urge because you already detangled when you were in the shower. Resist the temptation and then let it air dry just a little bit and once it's not super, super wet, just spray it around. If you diffuse, you can diffuse. I don't diffuse. Uh, give it a little bit of a zhuzh kind of straighten out if you have any spots that are frizzy. Like all of this for me is new hair. So it's short. I just do the best that I can with it and just give it a couple of spritz. If you don't like the crunchy look, like you can tell towards the bottom, it looks a little bit more squeezed together, like clumped together. If you don't like that, it's soft. So you can actually give it a little massage and the chunkiness or the clumpiness goes away. So it's totally up to you and the kind of look that you like. So you can tell it's not everywhere. Do you see the back? It's just dry, there's no product there. It's only where you really wanna manage your curls or make them look not as wild or like flowy. So I wanted to share that again because you're probably gonna be seeing this a lot and that's the only thing that I use. Then, okay, I talked to you guys about smelling like sunscreen. And I also mentioned a new fragrance that I just discovered from Juliet Has a Gun. So this is called Lust for Sun. I wanted to mention it because I didn't realize it was gonna smell like Beach by Bobbi Brown. So if you have this in your cart, but you already have this, or if you hate this and you have this in your cart, or if you have this in your cart, but you already, own, you know what I'm, where I'm getting at with this? So these two smell extremely similar but you know, you have your preference over brands or manufacturers or how they, you know, 
This one smells a little bit more neroli than this one. This one has a little bit more of like an orangey twist, but they are super similar. So I don't see the need for both. But if you guys are like me where you really appreciate those like Hawaiian tropic oil smelling scents, <laughs> there's that option. And then there's this one. This is my summer fragrance. Like when I don't want to think or make a hard choice, I just go in with vacation. It only comes in one size. I think it's 60 bucks. And you can get it at Ulta, Nordstrom. It has this 80s Miami Vice look to all their branding. Like that's the way the branding looks. This product isn't vintage. <laughs> Despite the way it looks, it's not vintage. This is the branding. This is how it looks. And I think it's pretty cool, especially like the combo of colors. Like how 80s are these two colors? I don't know. I really, I've really enjoyed the brand. There's this Chardonnay body oil that I'm like, really curious to try. I'm like, I wonder if it's going to be similar. Do you want to see again? Yeah. Just get it. Just get a good look. Do you see that shine on my, my little shoulder? The Chardonnay body oil. I'm like really, really wanting to try it. All right. There's one more product that I'm dying to share and it's the last one that I have and I haven't ordered more and I feel very vulnerable right now. The Ursa Major Essential Face Wipes you need these during the summer. So if you get sweaty or have excessive oils, you know, aside from primers and moisturizers that you can use, maybe you're outside at the park with your kids. Like we have been going to nonstop baseball practices and games, and there's always this fine layer of dirt on the surface of my skin. Ursa Major is a non-toxic green beauty brand, and their wipes are phenomenal. When I get my microblading done and I can't wash my face for a few days, these keep me 100% breakout free. They are magical. So if you guys know the benefit of having a very gentle but also purposeful face wipe, this is where it's at. So it's a very large sheet. It covers your entire face. It does a super thorough job of cleaning your face. It smells like a spa, so it's gonna have that very essential oily scent to it. And I'm not saying it had, I don't, I don't know what the ingredients are. I really don't know. But it does have that very natural spa scent to it. I, I like it, it doesn't linger, and it does a phenomenal job at wiping your face in a pinch. So there's that, you need to get those for sure. I used to get them at Ulta, I don't think they carry them anymore, so I'm panicking just a little bit. Then uh, you guys have seen me talk about the Bye Bye Dark Spot Concealer and Serum. It's the only face product that I've been using recently, it's what I have on my face today, and I use it all over my face. I don't use it as a thick layer like foundation, but I do use it all over my face. So I have it in the center of my forehead, I have it on the sides of my nose, and on my chin. I don't have it anywhere else. And you can see what good of a job it does in covering, but also making your skin still look like skin. Letting your skin look like skin. On my eyelashes, I really didn't want to like this mascara. I was talking to you guys about it in a vlog, like maybe like four vlogs ago. I decided to try the telescopic after years of it being a like notoriously popular product. And while I will say that the wand, like, it makes me nervous. It's like really floppy. Once you get the hang of it and you learn to use it, it's actually a really great mascara. I like it. It's very easy to use and it also comes off very easy at the end of the day. You guys are probably wondering about this. I am a huge fan of lip oils, but I'm a fan of lip oils that are actual oils. I do not like when they are marketed as such, but then they feel like something else, like a gel or like a gloss or whatever. Stila recently came out with their own, hopefully I can open it, with their own lip oils and they're called Heaven's Dew Gel Lip Oils. This is Kitten's Comet. You guys know when it comes to Stila, anything that is Kitten, the shade Kitten, I want it on my face. Let me open it gently so you could see it's an actual oil. I wonder if I could just... It's really lovely. I wore it yesterday with no makeup on and I was worried that once the oil got absorbed or I ate it, that it would leave glitter on my lips. And it's not. It doesn't look like glitter when it's on your lips, when the oil goes away, when it gets absorbed, whatever. 
it never looks like chunky glitter it just looks like glowy it almost like it bounces light back so I don't like those have you guys ever tried glosses that have mica or glitter in them and once the gloss or the gel or whatever the base is disappears you can see the flecks on your lips this one doesn't do that I don't like how that looks I don't know why it bothers me so much but it's like oh she was wearing this and now it looked like she ate or whatever and this one doesn't leave that behind so it's a very easy to wear shimmery lip oil that was a very deep description and I wanted to save this for last I probably should have mentioned it first because it is life-altering you guys uh, know that I am the Black Widow or I have like the the death kiss like I I discontinue everything that I love this being one of them this is the formula X base coat it was the nail care brand within Sephora stores I don't know if they went out of business or what happened but it got discontinued like everything that I love and it took me years to find a replacement the CND sticky anchoring base coat like your nail polish won't come off until you're ready for it to come off including neon polishes I know that is a big statement there are some factors that you need to include or factor in okay all I'm gonna say is if you if you have to go if you're in a hurry you need you need this like this is this you really need this base coat there is one negative side to it, and that is the color of the base coat. If you have porous nails or nails that are prone to stain easily, because everyone's nails stain, but if you have nails that are prone to getting stained or are porous or have ridges, it will leave a little bit of a blue hue to your nails. So this is some, I think this would be a product for someone that always has nail polish on like I do. I very rarely not have polish on my hands. So if you are someone that's just, you know, occasionally it might leave a stain that might bother you. I don't know. Aside from that, the, the, the way that I could say a base coat really functions is if it has a really good partner so if you're gonna get a really good base coat the base coat isn't gonna be as good as it really is unless the sandwich lid is just as good so in order for a base coat to function to its max potential you need to sandwich it between it needs to have like another slice of bread so for example you could put any nail polish the brand does not matter whatsoever but one of your slices of bread has to be an amazing base coat and the other slice has to be an amazing top coat in order for you to get the results that you're really imagining. So I let my nail polish go. I've tried, you could tell like how much I've used already. So I've tried it more than 10 times, but I really wanted to see the extent of how good it was. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna see A, how long it lasts, and B, will it even work with the neon polishes? So with opaque polishes, those creamy polishes, the ones that, you know, are no fuss, no muss that you like, I mean, I went 15 days. I had to change my polish because I broke a nail and I had growth. With neon shades, the polish never came off, but you could see where it was starting to lift around the edges. That bothered me because I was like, it's only a matter of time before it starts snagging in my hair. So it's an amazing base coat. I mean, I've had incredible results and you guys already know how I feel about Glistening Glow's top coat. It gives you the gel look like that's what I have on now. So I have this base coat, a I think it's a China glaze pink that I have on my nails and then this top coat and you can tell like, is that gel? Like what's going on? My nails aren't long either. That's just how, how big my fingers are. And so you guys, if you have been waiting for an update, I mean, it's probably been like six years. We finally found it. Shoot, now we're gonna get it discontinued. I had to say something, didn't I? All right, so let's just forget I talked about this. It's not, it's all right, it's, it's mediocre. Okay, that's 
all I gotta say for this favorites video. Also, please, if you have a few extra four minutes, take that skin diagnostic test. The link will be in the description box below. Let me know how your typology prescription has been updated. I'm totally excited to try the newest additions to my routine. I'm excited to see the sebum control on this one. If this one works, when my mom comes to visit in June, I'm just gonna slather it all over her face. She has like no wrinkles. She's almost 70, but she has oily skin. So hopefully I get some of that genetics and uh, vitamin C and caffeine. So favorite ingredients, awesome ingredients. Typology literally knows where it's at when it comes to skincare. Like less is more, custom is better. And they're helping us by using limited ingredients and just formulating products with the best stuff out there. And they're also helping our planet by using recyclable containers, shipping containers, packaging. I mean, I could go on, but Parker might have something to say about how much I, I love this brand. He might start to feel a little insecure, you know? Anyway, if you guys decide to make a purchase, don't forget that you will get a free peeling serum with lactic acid with any $40 purchase. So let us know, update you guys. You guys have to update me, we're friends. I've updated you on my typology. You guys haven't updated me on your typology. So let me know what your results are. And I think that's it. Like any and all my favorites videos, all of these products that I talked about that I mentioned will be listed and linked in the description box of this video. If if you have any questions, just leave me a comment and let's hang out. I love you guys so much and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.